So in these pages, what I want to first do is start off with a description of a rod structure. I've shown here with a dotted line, and I've discretized it into an approximation of two springs, each with a spring constant K. <clears throat> so on the end of this rod, I've got a, I apply a force, newtons, and this results in some displacement, I say in millimeters, but some variable I, I call A. So I want to talk about this idea of variations. And so in, in an experiment, you'd be able to apply and measure a load and similarly measure what is a displacement from that load at the end of a rod. Often it's a little more difficult to determine what are your internal displacements. One is this A bar, which I've put at the center of the rod. So what I, I want to do is a thought experiment where we pull on this and then we guess what the internal displacements are. It's easy in this case, but in, in many cases we have no uh, good way of, of actually probing that, uh, particularly with uh, many sensors. So. I want to show you how can we do this from a modeling perspective to reduce the complexity of an experiment and, and get better insight on what's occurring inside a material under some loading. could be electromagnetic loading um, as well as what I'm showing here in terms of a mechanical load. So the idea is you take what's called a variation. So we're going to guess what this is and as we perturb this displacement, we're going to analyze the energy and ultimately we want to minimize that energy. All right, so if if we have mechanical system, you have force displacement, uh, area under here is my internal energy, so it's one half force times area, it's a linear model. <clears throat> you can also write that in terms of spring constant. Uh, a squared since your force is A times A. Now, ideally for this linear system, we already know the solution. We know that A bar should be A over 2, but let's assume that we don't know that and we're going to guess. So maybe we can take an educated guess and say, well, maybe it's close to here, but let's take some perturbation from there and see what happens. So ideally, here is your energy, All right? And this is a typo. This should be a force. So again, this is my my force, force on this axis, displacement here. Um, here's what happens. So we pull on this rod. You get a displacement here. At this point, it moves to some a bar and we want to guess what that is. So ideally it's A over 2. But let's say it's we perturb it from A over 2. So we may perturb it back, forward, could be any amount. If you think about this in a thought experiment, it doesn't matter what you perturb this from in the true solution, the energy is always going to be larger. So you can think about this as being this is my true solution. This is the relaxed state for a given load. Now I move this again. So I put more energy into the system by moving that point from its ideal solution. So no matter what displacement you put in, your energy is going to be higher. So the goal is to minimize this to get it to the true solution. So we want to try to get this close as possible. And that's ultimately really what we're doing in variational methods and ultimately finding a minimum.